Birdsville races are Australia's desert championships. Held outback in the middle of the continent, most Septembers it's so dry here that the horses are all but hidden in clouds of dust. But this year it was different. This was the scene on what was supposed to have been the day before the racing. Those who'd driven in from all over Australia were soaked by 24 hours of rain. Vehicles got stuck, tents were flooded, some washed away. The race organisers were deeply frustrated. To get a third of your annual rainfall the day before your biggest event of the year um, that's run on a dirt surface is uh, yeah, it's, uh, heartbreaking. Birdsville's population normally swells from a mere 80 to 12,000 for the weekend of the races, but the rain this year reduced that number by more than half. This is one of the main roads into Birdsville. On the eve of the races, it would normally be a stream of cars kicking up dust, but it's closed and it's pretty obvious why. No other road in was passable either, but at the racetrack, as people brought in machinery to clear the water and mud, all were aware of the bigger picture of why, on balance, the timing was bad, but not the rain. Over the last few years, we've had four or five years of solid drought. There's been suicides, people have walked off their properties. Um, so this is the greatest godsend. You know, it, it's a disappointment to us if we can't race, but for the everyday person that lives in this country, it's the greatest thing that could happen. This was the scene across much of Australia until last year. Parched land and bones. Farmers were having to shoot dehydrated animals that were too skinny to sell and too sick to move. But this year, rain has returned across big areas of the states of Queensland and New South Wales. In some places, this June was the wettest since the late 1800s. It's always been, you know, prayed for. Everyone's wanted it. We've finally got it. So the place is a lot greener and a lot different to how it usually looks. In Australia, drought is an official term that brings farmers compensation, so people are wary of declaring the drought over. But in the agriculture industry, there is optimism that's been missing for years. There has been um, significant rain over the last 12 months and it's really important for our production region. Two days late, there was some horse racing in Birdsville this year. Watching appropriately was the odd inflatable horse. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera. Birdsville.